think we should freestyle it again, picking some wildly sexy tobacco fragrances since this is the season where tobacco truly shines. Ganja, ganja. Now in these fragrances, tobacco don't have to be the absolute pinpoint masterpiece note. It could be a best supporting actor note, but it has to make an appearance. It has to be the Robin to the Batman. Precisely Robin. And most importantly, it's gotta be sexy. So if I were to recommend you 10 sexy tobacco fragrances for you to wear right now, what would they be? Only one way to find out, baby. So let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to let's say 10 sexy tobacco fragrances you need to try. <laughs> Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Let's jump right into this video. I think doing that twist like a Jeremy, I might have pulled my neck muscle. Oh, God, I'm so fat. I was thinking the same thing. So let's start with some sexy vibes of tobacco. I want something that's hunchy, sweet, ultra sexy. I want to put you onto something that nobody else around you is going to wear. That's going to feel not only syrupy, sweet pipe tobacco, but ultra sexy. And the main one that comes to mind is Zerzov Naxos. If tobacco made a syrup, this would be it. Makes me emotional. Tobacco meets freshness. There was a tobacco scented laundry detergent. It's fresh, bright, citrus, sexy, dark, pipe tobacco, sweet, and a little bit sticky, but very masculine, super seductive, ultra alluring. It might make her a little between the legs. How did you do it? The way Naxo sticks to your skin in the winter is straight crazy glue status. It's like the 1980s commercial where the dude back in the day was hanging from the beam from the hat, the crazy glue commercial. This joint lands on that skin like a tattoo and never comes off amazing performance in sillage ultra unique very niche beautiful ingredients and sexy which is what you look for in a tobacco right next i need not say more other than the only thing i'm going to say about this particular fragrance it's a must have if you like niche and tobacco fragrances this is not a mm, let me think no <laughs> need this in your life because Amouage Royal Tobacco will change the world. It's like putting together a telethon back in the day like we are the world. You need this fragrance fam. I'll think about it. Incensey, smoky, sweet tobacco with a beautiful Middle Eastern royal kind of sanctimonious. You're just going through some energy, some vibes. You want to pray. Ding, ding, ding. Hmm, that's weird. I don't even know what that guitar sound is, but it just makes me emotional. This is glorious. I mean, shisha means Philly blunts. What do we do? If there was a tobacco masterpiece fragrance category, this one million percent would be in it. Blew my sack off the first time I smelled this fragrance, and a ton of people are gonna agree with me. So if you're into, I don't know, legendary tobacco scents, royal tobacco must have next. One. This is not your soft in the pants tobacco. This is a little bit punchy, slightly animalic, very diesel, very abrasive, but Killian's back to black is tobacco.edu because you're gonna learn what tobacco potency is like it's fun and educational this fragrance is that let me get you out of your comfort zone stop slacking on this piece i haven't smelled this in a little bit so let's just go back to the whoa to the roots cherry tobacco dot Calm. Also with a wild honey punch. I don't have to put it close to my face. There's a beautiful patchouli essence. There's a little bit of rough, rugged, and raw in this joint. I mean, if Wu-Tang had a tobacco fragrance, I don't know why it wouldn't be back to black. The more this has sat on my shelf, the raspberry tartness has really bumped up here. There's an almondy nuttiness with a really tart raspberry. There's this beautiful cherry tobacco essence. There's this nuttiness. There's this grit. There's this honey vibe. There's this ultra masculinity about this joint. Damn, it's good. Yes, yeah, something about the raspberry in here has has really changed and really bumped up. Like initially the raspberry was star, but not the main star. Here it seems like it's honey, raspberry, cherry tobacco, and everything else in between. This is big dog willy shit. Diesel tobacco. Proceed with caution next week. And let's talk about boozy tobacco, vacation tobacco, summertime vibe essence tobacco. Cause whenever I get a little bit of alcohol and coconut vibes, then you sprinkle in that tobacco, Nishane's fan, your flames must be put in the conversation. Well, cause those are the notes. Coconut crust. 
That hairy coconut shell is why. It's like an artist taking coconut shells and making it into like a artistical masterpiece. Artistical, what a word. Truly. There's something very comforting about this scent. There's, this scent is kind of like the Xanax of fragrances in the tobacco space. Once you smell it, it kind of brings you down a little bit. It's like hitting that blunt at the right moment where you just sink a little deeper into your couch. This has that kind of essence. Relax, Cuba. Relax. Relax. Nothing has to be rushed. Smell it. Enjoy it. Marinate in its juices, Babo. Let the sex sink in. I'm listening. Did it catch your attention though? In the conversation of Caribbean style tobaccos, fan your flames. Must be in that combo next round. We need to put the legend in the space. The one EDP. Come on, fam. Talk to me. Nice. I don't need no texture for this. This is life. This is my childhood. This was young Cuba trying to bag Shorty and her friend and her aunt. And if her mom's look good, she's a victim. Play the victim and you will be the victim. Nobody's safe. Bro, can we bring this scent back into like the front lines? Can we just start realizing how good this fucking fragrance is? This shit is lingering in the air right now and all I can think about is amazing memories and bad decisions. Those are the best kind. How are we not gonna put this in a legendary status? In sexy tobacco vibes and with freshness, ultra mass appeal, going out, versatility, signature scent worthy and we're not going to talk about the one EDP? Are you stupid or dumb? Which is which? Come on fam, talk to me nice. This shit is a Legend. Next one of the best tobacco fragrances in 2022 slash 2023 slash maybe 2024. This shit is crazy. Tobacco flirting with vanilla by Mibichu. Maybe swa. Whatever. Sexy, erotic, mysterious, smoky, sweet, handsome, devastatingly delicious. Not to be slept on, not to be underplayed. I think it smells incredible, wildly sexy, projects beautifully off of my skin, and makes me feel a little extra handsome. Makes me feel like those hidden inches and a half just come out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you got more BDE in it. Too much? If you have not had the opportunity to try tobacco flirting with vanilla, you're doing yourself a disservice. Don't Say Uncle Kuba didn't tell you. Next week. I call this the brolic budget bang for your bug tobacco. Say that five times fast. What? Mancera red tobacco. Good Lord have mercy. Another cherry tobacco grenade. But this one has a beautiful dry vetiver component and also has a little bit of an apple edge, which doesn't necessarily smell like apple, smells more like a green Jolly Rancher. Very sexy, incredible tobacco. And for a niche house, Mancera always brings out the big guns on a gray market. Retail wise, they're priced pretty comparable across the board, but so many opportunities to get amazing fragrances from the Mancera and Montau lines at gray market prices that are living in the 100 space with a fragrance that is going to last you all day. Babo, this shit is sexy as fuck. Addicting as shit. An incredible photorealistic style tobacco and so good for the price. It's gotta be put on the list of a fire tobacco. No, it's red tobacco. Next and if we're talking about red fragrances, we gotta put infrared by Spice Bomb in here. This cinnamon, red, and black pepper blend is fuego. All the peppers energies up in this piece, including what seems to be a little bit of a saffron pimento essence. For me to put a Spice Bomb fragrance in the conversation speaks volumes because I'm not a huge fan of the Spice Bomb line. But this one plays amazingly off my skin the times that I have worn it and really in the air is very sexy. So if I'm gonna make a sexy tobacco list, I gotta put infrared in there, bro, because it really is that sexy. And I kind of want to wear it now. Shit, next one. One of my OG introductions to tobacco fragrances in the niche space, Perfumes de Marley Harris. Bed. John Dairy. I've had this fragrance bottle forever and it still has a little bit of juice in it. One of the first niche fragrances that my wife complimented way back when, when she wasn't uh, so opinionated. Tobacco, vanilla, pepper, cinnamon, stew. Warm, rich, super intriguing, like a confidence booster, compliment, grabbing, conversation, starting piece if I've ever smelled one. One of the staples, the signature big boys in the Perfumes de Marley lineup and with great reason. Anybody who has smelled Herod, experienced Herod, knows what a legendary scent profile, how ridiculously beautiful it is, how a fragrance like this has this sexual presence to allure people in, to just bring in that conversation, use it as an icebreaker in aerated form. And it's just lingering poetry in the air of particles of sex appeal. Look at that, I just dropped the test strip. That's how hot it is. Next one. And this one is a newer acquisition in my collection, but I had to put it on the list because I don't know why I wasn't put onto this before, or maybe people were telling me about it and I completely disregarded it, but Journeyman by Amouage. Hey, yo, fam lamb. Gin and tobacco? Sounds like a boy's night out. Where the strip is. <laughs> <laughs>
super rich, nice citric tart tobacco, slightly oily with a clear boozy fizziness in this fragrance. A gin and tonic meets tobacco meets sexy citrus with this oily residue. We're talking about all the balls that you want in a spicy tobacco fragrance with the price point to boot. But performance on this joint is nuclear. We're talking 12, 15, 35 hours. This shit just never comes off, right? Not a fragrance that's hype, not a fragrance that a ton of people talk about. Like if you want to go the spice bomb route, sure you can go the spice bomb route, but why not just go for a spice bomb daddy in Journeyman? Daddy is home! Damn, this is a good list. Ooh. 10 ultra sexy tobacco fragrances that you can sample right now. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon next time. But wait, what's your favorite tobacco fragrance? What's your go-to signature piece? Leave it in the comments below. I'll see y'all next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the guest moves. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would...